Okay, good morning guys. No, good afternoon guys. So I wasn't planning on vlogging, but we've just had a HelloFresh delivery. So Bernard got um, like a good deal or something. You feel in like a survey and he got like 60% off or 65% or whatever it was. So it's just arrived. But the thing is, as per usual, you know, men just, just can't be trusted sometimes. So he didn't pick the meals, which was annoying. So we've got five random meals. Um, so this will be very interesting. I'm going to open it. It kind of feels like the lottery. And I'll let you guys know what it's like. Um, I was thinking of doing like a little review. I think Bernard or myself might make one later. We can like take you guys through it and let you know like our true thoughts, opinions, all of that good stuff. So yeah, I'll show you guys in a sec. I just need to open it up. Okay, so this is how it comes. So we have like the meals here and obviously they're numbered to go with the recipes. So recipes like aren't too bad i mean they're not like the best for me as someone who is a picky eater but like i probably would try some of these i definitely wouldn't eat like things like the bacon and stuff um but yeah i don't know what we're gonna pick tonight i mean if anything this one is the more appealing one so i'm gonna open all the um ingredients and then put them away all the ingredients out <laughs> probably never gonna remember what goes with what at this point when i put them away but obviously at least it's all in the um ingredients and it tells you how long it's gonna take and stuff like that um it's just like ingredients on the back and stuff so yeah i'll see what bernard wants to make later and we will yeah, we will take you guys through it Right, I've just chopped up my strawberries and lemons, but I've had another exciting delivery. So basically the babies, um, which you need to follow them on TikTok because they've had so many of their videos go viral. And my new tattoo one has got like over 2 million views. It just blew up overnight while I basically had one video kind of blow up. Posted another one, I don't think that blew up. And then the one after that blew up to like 3 million. And then I posted like the tattoo, like every every... Like so many videos were just blown up. Um, so we had a brand contact us called Edgard and Cooper. I think it's a European brand. I want to say it's like Belgian. Just come in some really funky packaging. Um, so I'm going to open it up and show you guys what I picked. We got £58 to spend, but it only ended up being like £50. Um, the voucher just would only take off like £50, £60 or something really random. Um, so let me show you guys what I picked out for them. Okay, so this is everything that I picked up for them. So I got them some dry food in chicken and salmon. I got them some lamb and chicken like pate thing. And then I got just chicken. And then I got them some different tuna fillet things to try. So one's got shrimp, one's got squid, and one's got chicken and then i got them some turkey and chicken i did pick up this one which was cod for kittens but i just wanted to try them on cod and then i do whoa and then i do have some salmon and chicken behind there and then we've got lots of lamb because they seem to really like lamb at the moment so that's everything i picked up i will try and remember to give you guys an update to let you know if the babies like it or not guys i'm not gonna lie this is so much more effort than it's worth honestly like look at the state of my kitchen so I've got all the veg prepped. I'm just doing the um, the rice now. I've actually never cooked rice like this before, so it's weird. Um, I'm going to add chicken to it because Bernard was like, oh, should we add chicken? I didn't actually realise that it says you can add chicken. So I'm going to do that because it gives a bit more substance. Okay, so the rice is cooked. You leave it covered. So I've put in the tikka masala paste and the tomato puree. Then we've got to put in the creme fraiche with some vegetable stock and water. This is literally Bernard's food for tomorrow. Um, it's just beef with mushrooms, my seasoning and pepper. Woo! So yeah, I'm slowly cleaning up the kitchen. I'm going to do some garlic bread as well because I want to use it up. This is what it's looking like, but I don't think it's really thickening up at all. It's still very runny. So I don't know what that's about. Got that, got the garlic bread in. Check on that. Okay guys, this is the finale. We're going to eat it and I'll let you know what it's like. Bernard, what are you rating it? You're, the, you're far away. <laughs> out of 10, what are you rating it? 8 out of 10. Really? Why 8? 8.5 out of 10. Yeah, I'll probably agree with that. Guys, that was actually really nice. And that's like the first time that I've tried um, tikka masala. And like the portion sizes were huge. Like I gave me and Bernard quite a big portion and I've still got like a portion left. So even though it's for two people, I definitely think I could get like another one or two portions out of it so yeah i'm gonna clean up i hope you guys enjoyed my little hello fresh review um and i'll see you guys in the morning good morning guys so i've literally just been out on a run and i don't know why i left it till today really because that was silly because i had to go to four different shops so i'm going to be making some pupcakes some brownie and um, 
some cupcakes, some custard cream blondies, which are like a new one that I want to do, some Biscoff blondies and the Jammy Dodger blondies because I'm going to be taking some to my sister's work because her boss didn't get to have any of the blondies the last time I made them and I think she really liked the Biscoff ones or something. So, couldn't find custard powder anywhere, like so typical, we didn't have any Aldi, Iceland or Poundland um, and nowhere had yellow bananas. I was like, they were all ripe, and it's always a time when I want ripe bananas, I can't get them, and when I want yellow bananas, I can't get them. So then I had to go to Tesco's, but it was quite good, because Aldi didn't have any custard cream separately either, so I got some custard creams in Tesco's, and then instead of buying a big, like, uh, custard powder pot, kind of like this, even bigger, for £2, I picked this up for, like, 70p, so I got Tesco's own, and I only needed 25 grams, so I was like, I'm not going to buy loads, considering it's my first time making them. Got loads of chocolate chips. And then for the cupcakes, I had to get some peanut butter. So I got the dog one. And then I got some cute little trees. They remind me of Jammy Dodgers to go on top. So they did have peanut butter ones, which I wanted to get. But they were a bit boring and I wanted them to look cool. So I got them. So yeah, and then I just got some other ingredients. And typical me, I picked up bloody flour that has a hole in it. So that's great. So I think I'm going to do the custard cream ones first. Because obviously I've got freezer bacon. I've only got one tin. So I've got to do them bit by bit. And then I'll probably wait to do the cupcakes later because obviously I want them to be a bit more fresh because I'm taking them tomorrow. So yeah, I'm not going to take you guys through them. I'll just show you like maybe bits and bobs before they go in the oven and after. And like when they're all done. Um, but yeah, and I've got the leftovers of HelloFresh for lunch today as well. So yeah, I'm going to start baking because I haven't got long and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I thought I'd give you a little update. So the custard cream ones are like fully done, probably fully cooled now. Um, I've just got the Biscoff ones out, so they need to cool. Although they look like they are li it's lighter than last time. So this is the Biscoff ones. And then here's the custard creams. I forgot that I'm doing it in fours. So this one is probably going to be the same where I've like, I've not spaced it right, but that's fine. So yeah, these two are going to be like my ones because I haven't got much on there. And then yeah, I just need to finish making the Jammy Dodger ones and I'll try to place them a bit better. So I'll make them and then I'll show you guys the finale. Guys, I've got to show you my Jammy Dodgers, but they're in there. They're cooling down. Got some sort of like already made up. So yeah, I am going to leave them to cool down. I'm just going to go out for like two an hour and a half, whatever, go gym, won't take me long. Um, and I'll be back in a bit. Good morning, guys. So I am heading to Sprout's work now, but I got up this morning and I made some pup cakes for Hercules' birthday, which is her boss's dog. Um, so I've just done the toppers because I didn't want them to be like too thingy, but the cream cheese frosting kind of failed a little bit. So I just used some dog peanut butter. I mean, I say it's dog. You can get just like normal human peanut butter, but it has to have certain ingredients in. And then I got them for him. So yeah, gonna pack up and go. Good morning, guys. So we had another Hello Fresh meal last night that I totally forgot to vlog or like tell you about. Oh, there you are. Oh, you behind the door. Um, we had black bean, no, chipotle. How do you say it? Chip, chip, chipotle, chipolate, chipo, chipotle? How do you say it? You know what I mean. Black bean enchiladas with mozzarella and it's supposed to have rocket, but we didn't have the rocket. So I'm just going to go and return something to TK Maxx. So I'll show you guys if there's anything new in. I need to drop off some parcels as well. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Haven't got much planned really. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys on TK Maxx. Guys, I found some more of my jumpers. I think they're so cute. I do really like the green. Not badly priced either. And I really like these, they have rhinestones on. Oh, look at the colour. 25. Mason and Hudson. Or Madison and Hudson. Got another cute one. They've got some nice stuff in here, guys. Guys, I saw this and immediately bought Sprouts from Zara. Look how cute. So guys, they have so much leftover, like Ivy Park stuff. It's another one, Ivy Park. Just loads, like even this is like Ivy Park or Romper. Not much in the terms of bags. I'm really loving like cool ones that are a bit different like that. What else we got? This I liked in black. I don't think they got it in this. 
They also have like really nice dune bags in at the moment. Um, some small purses. Let's go to the shoes because I don't often look at shoes. Love the orange. Oh, they're Zara. Quite high though. Bath mats are popping off in TK Maxx at the moment. They got some new ones in, different colours. They got, they had loads of these. I've got a butterfly one, nice little pink one. Like more daisies. All the leopard print ones have gone that I got. Kind of like that colour. Oh yeah, look, like here's one of the leopard. What's that one? Just jiggered. A butterfly one. Ooh, pulling it off. As you do. More like subtle. Got some cute little canisters. Nothing jumping out to me here. Still got my rainbow hangers in. Love them. As you know, I love a mug. I think I'm going to have to get that. But look how cute these little saucers and teacups are. Strawberry pot. Got some nice stuff here. Nothing in terms of plates and crockery. Okay guys, so I'm back. I've had my lunch and stuff. I picked up the cat mug that said meow. And I also picked up Sprout. I'm taking it upstairs now. Oh, I'm gonna go upstairs anyway, because I need a wee. I picked up Sprout that cute little Zara top um, for her to try. And I picked up a mug for her as well. And then I got Bernard his Easter egg finally, and it weren't cheap, but it's the only one he's getting. And it's actually really small for what it is, but it's the Waitrose pistachio one. So it's got like blonde chocolate and, um, and then you crack it and it's got pistachio inside. And then I got Sprout this little mug. She's really into like moon stars and all of that. So yeah, that was all I got. So I just thought I'd update you before I forget. I'm literally going to start like editing some vlogs and content because I've got so much to edit, but I just get a bit lazy, you know? Oh, that's a big yawn. Why are you not on the bed, baby? It is sweetest boy. Okay, so this is what we're trying tonight. The cheeseburger inspired meatball sub and chips with burger sauce and onion. So I'm having everything but the cheese because I'm not really a major fan of having cheese on my stuff. Um, so we've got the onions going and then I'll show you the finale when that's done. I've only got a couple minutes. And this is the finale. So he didn't want onions, I didn't want cheese. But yeah, looks good. We'll see what it tastes like. Just installed two solar lights in the garden. Don't ask what is going on today. I went out to get pumpkin some like special royal canine food and I didn't realise it was web exclu exclusive. Uh, I've got a really exciting parcel. So basically the clock in our kitchen is dodgy and it like it basically doesn't like the hands don't work or whatever and it's really nice clock. Um, even my mum was like oh it matches the kitchen well it brings in some colours like adds a bit of colour. Um, but yeah, I was like, okay, maybe it's time for me to get a new one. So I was looking online because I wanted like a cool, like, baking type clock or something. Because you guys know me, I like a bit of like colour, I'm not the norm. Anyways, and I started bidding on this really cool clock. I'm, I have a feeling it's going to be really small. But I won the bid anyway. Oh my god, it's so, it's so tiny compared to what I've got out there. Oh boy. Like literally, it's like so tidy. But I didn't pay much for it, I only paid £15, which isn't bad, but I thought like, it's kind of like more of an exclusive one, if you know what I mean. Like you're not gonna find this kind of like elsewhere and stuff, but it does match the kitchen as well. And I just thought it was really cute, look. How cute is that? <laughs> it should still work in that. Yeah, and then I'll show you guys the OG clock and then I'll show you the other one. So this is the OG clock, so like, the Colour, I feel like the colours kind of tie in, um, but this one isn't like too off colour, so yeah, it's really small compared to this one, so I'm going to put it up and I'll show you guys. Oh, it's so small, I really like it, but I think the good thing is now, is I really want to put like a shelf on here, and then like put like some books or ornaments, or just get some of this shit off of there, so I might ask Bernard if he will agree to that, to be honest. 